brethren were out of food and they had no food. They were told that there was someone down in Egypt that had plenty of food, not knowing that it was their brothers that they had sold into slavery. And so the brothers come down to Egypt looking for food. And I don't have time to read the whole, tell you the whole story, but ultimately the whole family moved down to Egypt. And they lived in a place called Goshen. It was the best land that Egypt had to offer. It was there that Joseph's family began to thrive. They tell us most likely there was only about 75 people that was in his family when they went into Egypt. And God had foretold, he had prophesied that they would go into Egypt. Now this is the people that were called out. This is Abraham's descendants. And, 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 and they went down as a small, a small family, but over the time of years that the Bible says that there became a pharaoh. A pharaoh took the throne of, of Egypt and he knew not Joseph and the power of what Joseph had really done. It's amazing how this world finds it so easy to forget what God has done in our lives. Amen. If they're not careful, you and I will forget what God has done in our lives. And the Bible says there was a a king, a pharaoh that knew not Joseph. So now, now all of a sudden the people of God, they became slaves in Egypt. And for over 400 years they found themselves in slavery. But God had also foretold that when they went down into Egypt, there would come a day that he would bring them out of Egypt. He would call them out of Egypt. And I hope you stay with me for a moment because I'm getting somewhere. And, and, and so... God picked this man named Moses. He called him and he said, you're going to bring my people out of Egypt. And they were called out of the land of Egypt. They were called out of the land of bondage. They were called to a place of promise called the promised land. That it, God said it's a land that flows with milk and honey. Right. But listen, if you're ever going to get there, you're going to have to be called out. I propose to you today that every one of us that sits under the sound of my voice may be watching our mind. I'm here to tell you, God is always looking to bring his people out. Amen. Come on. He's bringing us out of Egypt. He's bringing us out of bondage. He's bringing us out of this world. And if we had time enough today, we could talk about where we were when God found us. The Apostle Paul says we were of all men most miserable. You didn't find God because everything was going hockey dory in your life. You didn't come to know God because, man, every day it was sunny and shiny. And, man, there was never a cloudy day. There was never storms or hurricanes. There was nothing like tornadoes. But that is, the Bible tells us, it's the goodness of God that calls us to come to a place of repentance. It's the goodness of God that calls us to come to a place saying, I need to leave this country. I need to leave this lifestyle. I need to walk away from where I've been all my life. And Come he on. called you, and when he called you, he called you out of darkness yeah. into yeah. his marvelous yeah. light. Is there anyone in the house that's thankful for God bringing us out? We can clap your hands over the Lord right now. There may be individuals sitting in this auditorium today that you find yourself in bondage. You find yourself enslaved with the sins of this world. I propose to you if God brought Israel out of the land of Egypt. That he desires to bring you out of the land of Egypt. And he desires to do a work in you that you don't even imagine what he can do in your life. That's right. That's right. Oh, let me say that again. When God brings you out, you have no idea what's going to happen. I'm just here to tell you, you'll never repent of the day that you were called out. Amen. You will never say, man, I wish I still had that burden. I wish I was still enslaved in sin. Come a songwriter put it this way, I'm so glad Woo! that the Lord 